Make sure to get rid of that stupid mute. And when I receive his late father's money, you will be well rewarded. <laughs> I had lost my parents, the only ones who understood me even though I was mute. Now I was alone against my stepmother, or so I thought. I am Andrea, and this is my story. <sighs> oh, dear daughter, you woke up. How are you? I was so afraid that you would never wake up. My father's funeral. Mm, oh, darling, that was yesterday. You were asleep all day. But don't worry, I made sure that everything was and came out perfectly. As well as calling the liar to find out the condition of your father's inheritance. I always knew you never really cared about my father. I'm sure he didn't leave you anything. <laughs> That's why I never like you. Because you're smart. That's why I'm gonna get rid of you. Just like I got rid of your father. What did you do to my father? You will soon find out. But first, you have to sign these papers. I will not do it. Of course you will. Come on, here. <laughs> Very good, perfect. That's all I need. Very good. Alex, give me the keys. Yes, ma'am. The liar can't find out that Andrea is here. <laughs> you should rest, darling. I will make charge of your father's inheritance. Let's go. Jesus, please help me. Jesus, let's go. She's not supposed to know how to swim. We made sure of that, miss. They must have held her, or I guess someone got a little soft, right? It was you, Jesus. Mm. Very well. So then, you are going to make sure that Andrea doesn't leave her room. I don't want mistakes. <laughs> With this paper, I've got it all figured out. Tell me, liar, what did my late husband leave me? Miss Andrea, I need her to be presented with everything. Since her father passed away, she has been acting a little strange. She doesn't want to leave her room, but that is why I'm here, in her behalf. I would like to see her, okay? <clears throat> It says here that I am entitled to her share. That means that I'm the sole owner of her father's entire inheritance. Wait, 
Wait, Andrea. Or else Miss Patty can hurt you. You need to help me. I get their results, I will come to see you. Sure. And I hope it's good news, liar. I hope that Miss Andrea recovers. I would like to see her next time. <laughs> That's how it will be. I'll walk with you. <laughs> I told you that we couldn't trust in Jesus, miss. Almost, and that stupid ruins our plans. The liar has already left with your sign. And you are left with nothing on the streets. Oh, hey, hey, please. Don't even start with your stupidities. I don't even understand you. And if I pretended to understand you, it was only to gain your father's trust so that he would go peacefully thinking that I was going to take care of you. And so I could have him now in his grave. Alex. Take her to her room and make sure she doesn't come out. And then you take care of Jesus. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Finally, this house is mine. <laughs> Jesus never came back. Patty kept me locked for days. And I lost hope of getting out of there. But I will give it one last try. Are you serious? As far as I see, you don't get it. Oh, Andrea. I tried to be nice to you. But from what I've seen, you don't want that, do you? I can't believe you've come this far. When you arrived here, you were welcomed with open arms. And this is how you repay you. Who are you to tell me that? You are nothing more than a mediocre employee. <laughs> If you behaved well with me, maybe I would have treated you better than what they did. Well, Mr. Ricardo and Mrs. Andrea not only supported me financially, they also gave me a family. Oh, don't tell me. You fell in love with her. <laughs> Look, Andreita, in spite of being mute, you were able to get someone's love. But guess what? That love won't be possible. Because I'm gonna make sure that both of you disappear. Don't even think about it. Enough, Jesus. Stop ruining my work. Alex, please. You have worked for them for many years. 
They supported you when your mother passed away. But I'm tired of being the employee. Miss Patty told me she was going to give me a decent place in the house. And I'm not going to waste the opportunity. Do you hear me? Bastard! <laughs> what were you thinking, Andrea? What I like most about you is that no matter what I do to you, because not a single sound can come out of your mouth. That's enough, Jesus. <laughs> Liar. But what are you doing here? How did you get in my house? This is no longer your house, Mrs. Patty. Jesus went to look for me and showed me the video where he confessed to having caused Mr. Ricardo's accident. But that's not true. That can't be possible because I'm incapable of doing that besides he was my husband. Besides with what I saw, I realized that your intentions with Miss Andrea are not good. So you are under arrest for falsification of documents and for having caused Mr. Ricardo's accident. Take him away. No, 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 you can do this to me. Let me go. Let me go, please. I can go to jail. That place is horrible. Please, don't take me. No. Mr. Officer, please, please, that place is very ugly! That place is ugly! I owe you an apology, Miss Andrea. I should have done more digging when I found out you were sick. Here, this belongs to you. From now on, this is your house. Your father left all the assets to your name. She didn't want you to miss anything. Also, one of his wishes was that you to find someone to share it. But as far as I can see, that is already fulfilled. <laughs> Congratulations. Excuse me. Thank you. In life, we may encounter times when we may feel that all is lost. But remember that there will always be something to hold on to. <laughs>